Hey everybody, welcome to my daily vlog for today. Today, I am, well, I guess you could say celebrating this evening. I'm off the next two days, and so I'm trying this Not Your Father's Root Beer. It's really interesting. Basically, it's regular root beer, and it's, I guess, made with some malt liquor. That, you know, makes it alcoholic. Um... I mean, it says beer with natural vanilla. Um, blah, 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 blah. But basically, it's alcoholic root beer. Just giving it a shot. Um, it's not too bad. I haven't really had root beer in a long time. So, the root beer part tastes great. I'm not really the biggest fan of malt liquor. Um, as you guys know, I like wine. I like um, rarely whiskey, you know, from time to time. That's the liquor of choice that I like. Uh, beer, I always go for either... My main beer is Guinness. I like the dark um, um, stout beers. That's basically my beer of choice. But this Not Your Father's Root Beer is really interesting. So it tastes good, like root beer, but... I don't know, I'm just not really a big fan of the malt liquor. You could tell that it's malt liquor. Um, it'd be different if it was like some other kind of alcoholic beverage or brew in there, but I don't know. Malt liquor is good. It's just not really for me, but it doesn't taste too bad in this form. Now you could get malt liquor in, in some things you get like at a corner store or something like that for like really cheap. Basically people get malt liquor, things with malt liquor in it. Because it gets them drunk fast. Um, depending on what it is. But, yeah. Not your father's root beer. So, for the next two days, I am off. I work today. I'm off the next two days. And I plan on going on my walk tomorrow. I don't know exactly where yet. Probably the beach. I will also be getting my new TV tomorrow. And I um, just wanted to clear this up. When I was talking about the new TV, I didn't want you guys to think that I was just, like, getting TV for no reason. Because I mentioned that I wasn't going to get a 4K um, or an Ultra Blu-ray player or whatever it's called right away. Um, I'm eventually going to get one. But the main reason for me getting a 4K TV, even though I don't have, like, any 4K Blu-rays and stuff like that, is because I want to get ahead of the curve in terms of technology. Now, down the road, I probably will end up getting, like, one of those 4K, um, you know, ultra Blu-ray players or whatever they're called. Um, ultra high-def Blu-ray, I don't know, whatever they're called. Down the road, I'll probably get one. I'm not going to replace everything in my collection. It'll be for, like, for uh, a specific thing. Um, but I want to get ahead of the curve. And who knows, in a year or two... In a year, they might be, like, all cable and all that kind of stuff. Netflix might use 4K um, at some point. And I just want to be ahead of the curve to where three or four years down the road, I could say, it's not really all that outdated. But, um, you know, 4K only really works if you have the size of the TV that your eyes can actually tell the difference. And there's some... There is some differences for smaller ones. You could definitely tell in some ways, but to the naked eye with some of the stuff I was talking about, you can't really tell unless it's like over 55 inches or even 60 inches. And so the TV we're looking at is, is about 55. So just right at that mark. But mostly, you know, I'm going to be using it for like 1080p type stuff, Blu-rays, that kind of thing. But the 4K aspect of it, is mainly because I'm thinking ahead because, you know, some Netflix shows, you know, I'm a huge Netflix original production person. Um, they're starting to shoot with like 4K type stuff. I'm big into documentaries, nature documentaries. They're going to be going into 4K type stuff in terms of like on TV and everything like that and like on, on demand kind of stuff. And. I'm pretty sure I'll eventually get a 4K player. Really what I meant by um, 
the format change is the fact that I don't plan on getting it right away. I don't plan on getting it within the next probably five months because I want to get the TV, get a good sound bar, some other stuff. But, um, yeah, the TV is definitely, I'm excited about that. I was just thinking ahead. There's, you know, I could get a bigger 1080p television, but if 4K is the future, I want to go ahead and have my 55 plus inch 4K TV to where I don't have to worry about buying something else later. Um, because I bought this TV that I have, which is a phenomenal picture. Great TV, 1080p. Um, we bought it when we got married, right after we got married. So it was early 2011. It was brand new. It just came out. And, um, that was in 2011, early January 2011. So we got married in December of 2010. Um, and this TV, we got it, you know, ahead of the curve technology wise. It still works perfectly fine. We're putting it upstairs in our bedroom, um, and plugging it up over there. But we're just really ready for the next thing. This TV that we've had, I think, is like 42 inches or maybe a little bit bigger. So, like, going to, to like, a 55 or a 60 is going to be phenomenal. Um, especially with all the movies I got and some of the stuff that we watch, you know, in general. Like, we'll have the TV for when Planet Earth 2 premieres here, which will be great. So... But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this daily vlog for today. Tomorrow's going to be a bigger one because of all the stuff that I'm doing. But just wanted to drop by and kind of give a clarification because I kind of came across like an idiot in the last one when I was talking about, oh, I'm going to get a 4K TV, but I don't want to buy anything 4K that has anything to do with it. It's like saying, oh, I'm, I got this DVD player, but, you know, I'm just going to continue to watch my VHSs. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Um, but I just wanted to do some clarification. And some backtracking. Because I realize I, sometimes I say stuff what, that I don't actually mean. Because my brain just works. I don't know. But anyways. Um, time to get back to my root beer. And I'm watching a f one of the first films by my favorite, one of my favorite directors, Woody Allen bananas so time to get back to the film bye